Hello, students. It's wonderful to see you again, or, and then I hope it's wonderful for you to see me as well. Uh, today we're going to start with the, uh, the presentation of activity number one. Uh, well, more specifically, the, the feedback of activity number one. As you know, uh, this was at Paso. Remember, you practiced um, your listening skills with Ed Puzzle, and today I'm going to show you the result. And well, as you remember, this video was about culture. Uh, there was a girl speaking about how different people of different places and have, of course, different costumes, different habits, different ways to express themselves, to eat, uh, to show respect or love. Uh, this video was two minutes long. Um, I'm going to show you here on the website. This is the video. And these are the questions on the right side of the screen. Um, well, the video was very short. You were supposed to answer the questions as they were shown on the screen. Um, list by listen, and you will had to answer them by listening and interpreting what the girl uh, or the group of, um, of kids said during the video. Remember, this was kind of a way to say that everyone has different ways to see the world, especially when we're from different countries. And it's, well, it's okay. I don't know. That depends on you. Let's see the answers. It's necessary to respect this. I'm going to start uh, showing your, your results. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to share my screen with the results of this activity. Okay, uh, this was the, the, sorry, the slide that I show you uh, on the explanation the past few weeks. Okay. And these are the results. Okay, here I summarized all the results because all, all the four answers were exactly the same. You were right in, in, uh, in the same answers and you were wrong in the only answer, uh, in the same answer uh, that, is, that was the only one who, which was wrong. Okay, so in the first question, in, in the second 14, it says two different countries have different traditions and customs. You want everyone answered yes. Okay, that's correct. Uh, even if it's, for example, Colombia and Ecuador, Colombia and Ecuador, even if they are neighbors, they have different traditional food, different costumes, um, some people ask for blessing uh, to, to their mom in Colombia and people normally don't do it here in Ecuador or maybe in some areas uh, it is normal but not in the whole country. That's one example that I might give you. In the second question, uh, second 33, you say that the, boy, the boys, the girl and the boys think that it's weird that the, the other boy is giving his mother a hug. Um, and I think uh, everyone had the same confusion. Even I, when I watched the video, I, I, I was confused between the two actions. What was it? It was because he touched his mother's, mother's feet or because he gave, him a hug, he gave her a hug. Some countries, it's, it's not that it's not normal, but it is not usual to give your mother a hug because people tend to be less emotional, but that doesn't mean they don't have feelings, of course. It's just that they don't show emotions as we maybe in Latin America do. Okay, so the real answer actually was touching his mother's feet to say goodbye. Okay, and let's see what the other questions say about this. What does touching his parents' feet in Alfie's costume mean? What does it mean? Everyone answered correctly because Alfie said very specifically in the video, 
that's saying hello or goodbye in our culture. Okay, and why did Alfie touch his mother's feet? And he says it, it's a way to show respect and you answered correctly. That's very good of you guys. Thank you. That means you're paying attention. Even if it's simple, the activity, it is also important to practice your focus of attention in everything you do. It helps you concentrate more. Okay, and then we have, does Alfie feel embarrassed to touch his parents' feet? And actually, he's not. He's not embarrassed of doing this. And then the Thai boy, the boy from Thailand, he's a little um, renuent, let's say, about this specific tradition. And the girl replies, well, you don't eat like we do, right? What? Like, what accessories do you use to eat? And you answered correctly. He used uh, chopsticks. I mean, that, I, that I'm guessing it's because of the sushi, the sushi culture. Uh, but yeah, um, Tomatian uh, societies, okay, uh, countries or cities use chopsticks to eat instead of pork as we do in America and in other, uh, in other continents. Okay, and finally, we have the, the last question. It says, is it, is it okay to have different cultures and customs? And that was one question I asked you. And I told you, let's see in the results. And you said, yes. Yes, it is okay. It is normal. It is acceptable. It has to be that way. Okay? Because if it, we were all the same, can you imagine? Well, I think it was very good. Um, just one little recommendation because I only saw one incorrect question, one incorrect answer is make sure that you choose the answer that is more evident. In this case, maybe it was confusing. So it is okay. It's okay to be wrong. It is okay to be confused. Okay, so no problem. Just be careful with the most evident answer, always uh, try to choose it that way. And that's it for activity number one, the feedback of Ed Puzzle listening skills about culture. Thank you so much and see you for the next feedback. Bye.